What else is guys and eyes are watches? Making one of them there, man, useless YouTube type videos, man. And when you want to think about upgrading your like stereo system, putting some new tool or whatever in your car, which tools are great. I'm not gonna sit there and say they're not. Think about upgrading your spare. This is the typical spare that comes on the vast majority of cars. Temporary use only. Some Maxis. It says it's uh, inflate to 60 PSI. It's a 125 90 16, which means 125 is of course the width in millimeters of the tread. I think they're being generous there. 90 is the height of the sidewall. And 16, of course, is the uh, that there dime tray, man, of that there, that there wheel, man. Now, it's on a steel wheel, which is typical. And this is, uh, of course, off of one of our Volkswagens that I don't drive, okay? So, we've got 125 millimeters. Now, it tells you that your maximum kilometers is 80 kilometers or 50 miles. Uh, per hour 80 kilometers per hour 50 miles per hour and of course you can imagine that this tire is not meant for very long term use um, it's just the way maximum vehicle speed 50 miles per hour spare da 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 now let's go over this one this one steel wheel let's look at the difference between this is a 195 which means 195 millimeters. The other one was 120. It has a 65 height, 15. I think I told you something wrong there. Let's go back to this one real quick. 90, 90 is the height in millimeters. Apparently, this is not a, a ratio where on this tire it is. <clears throat> so we've got 195 millimeters, 65, which anybody, uh, which means the height of the tire, I believe is 65% of the uh, width of the tire. And then we've got a 15 inch wheel. This has also been balanced. Now it has the same sticker on it because this is an older wheel uh, that basically we just had that was a spare tire and then we had a real Bridgestone Taranza put onto it so now this is rated at a hundred and some miles an hour we have tread wear of 320 traction a temperature a I don't even know that they rate uh, this temporary the same way maximum load uh, uh, 1635 pounds which is da, da 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 yeah maximum vehicle speed they don't even rate that the same way another thing important to look look about is when choosing a wheel uh, of course these are Taranza ER 300 they're not the best Taranzas but they're uh, pretty damn good, and they're way, way better than that. When you're looking at steel wheels, look at the way in which they're welded. Uh, make sure that your welds are long enough. And, you know, this one isn't welded all the way around, like, let's say, an off-road wheel would be. But it's something to look at. You can also see there's a weight on the inside also. So this is fully usable to whatever... This Taranza ER300 is actually rated at. Now, still has a sticker on it. Still has whatever else on it. But I know that this tire is way different than this tire and can use them in much different ways. You can see the depth of the tread is way different. The width of the tread is way different. And if my ass is in a pinch, I would much rather have this wheel and this tire combination in my car in a hazardous environment. And if my tire goes down, it's because it's been in a hazardous environment. A lot of times when we're off-roading, we'll take two, but this is the bare minimum uh, that I think is adequate. It's always do more with less. 
and don't look like you're, you know, whacked out of your fucking gourd, basically. This is Guns Knives watches, and when you think about, you know, whether you need that sub or whether you need this, there or the other, you might need a real spare. Going back to the old school, good old days. Have a good one. Peace out.